Hello? Yes? This is Alex with uh, Verizon, and uh, we've noticed some uh, anomalies on your internet. Oh, God. And, uh, really? Yeah, and it seems like uh, it seems like you have a virus, and there's some kind of a botnet dialing. I've up. been reporting all this shit, Alex, to Verizon, and they've been ignoring me. I asked for somebody to come out and check this. Oh, back in July, and they wouldn't. So then I took it to a specialist, and they said I had a virus. They had, they said I was hacked seven, seven or eight times. Oh. So I changed, and I canceled your security, and I got another one, and I'm still hacked. And then I called back about a month ago, and I asked for service, and the guy wouldn't send one out. And he said he'll have to charge me. And I have maintenance. I have insurance. You know, I have the, I pay for extra insurance on that. And since when does a Verizon call a customer like this without the it's saying Verizon? Well, I'm calling from the local office. It's just that uh, we're, we're seeing all these anomalies coming through, and it seems like uh, your internet connection is being used to attack other computers. Like the hackers attack are, other computers. Yeah, they're using your computer. They're they're able to see your computer remotely. Like if you have a camera on there, they can see through the camera. And I think I don't have Skype. I didn't say you had Skype. I'm just saying that they have full control over your, your computer, and they're using it to attack other computers. Well, then what do you want to do about it? Oh, I just wanted to let you know. Cause it's, well, that's all you're going to do is let me know? Well, what hey, can I do about hey, it? Hey, don't, don't freak out at me. I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm to not be freaking nice. out, Alex. I'm not freaking out. All I know is ever since I've had Verizon as my carrier for my, my computer, I've had nothing but friggin' hell for two and a half years. Maybe you should install Linux. Hell. You should put and Linux on your And I've called many computer. times up to the president's line, and nobody pays attention to me. So my computer is being used for illegal activity. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, yeah. You should really you should just uh, you know get a new computer and put Linux on it. I can't it. afford it. I have no money. Well, just get an I app. have no money. You could get an iMac. iMacs are pretty cheap. Yeah, how much are they? Uh, they're like 2500 I think. 2500 Are you friggin'? Did I just tell you, Alex, I have no money? Well, 2500 I can barely pay my rent. I have no money. And thanks to you people, my computer was hacked. I'm going to go public with this. That's not even that much money. 2500 Come on, it's 2000 I have no money, you jerk off. You're not calling from Verizon, It's 2014. Everyone has that much money. You asshole. I don't... What's your problem? Holy crap. Hello. We are not available now. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess that's all for her. Thank you for submitting this one. That lady sure was crazy and racist. I could tell how racist she was. I wish I could get her to pick up again, though. You know, I've been saving this one forever. I I put it in the VIP email folder, for one thing, because I like the sound of it. She sounded funny in your description. But uh, she never answers. This is like the seventh or eighth time I've tried to call her, and finally she picked up after all this time. I usually don't wait this long. I usually just delete them after they don't pick up about three times. And I called her from Verizon numbers. I called her from various toll-free numbers. Uh, Tonight, I called her from just a uh, regular phone number within her own area code. But that was fun. Thanks for the submission. I wish it could have gone on longer, but I'm going to give up on this lady now. You guys, I know I said I was done with that lady, but I was thinking, you know, she answered the phone, she's obviously home, so what if I change my caller ID to show that I'm calling from 1-800-VERIZON, and that way she'll think I'm really with Verizon instead of just calling from a random phone number in her area. So I've done that, and I got through to her, and here's the call. Hello? Yeah? This is uh, Steven from Verizon. We've been getting these calls from Casper Spy. And they're, they're telling us all, all these alerts are going off, and you're using our network for a I'm not using your network. The thing is, I have Verizon on the other phone right now. Uh, uh. I, I want to talk to a technician because somebody just called and threatened me and, and, and said that my computer is being used to... Uh, I've been hacked, and my computer is being used to do criminal activity. They threatened I'm you. I'm not doing anything. Who threatened you? I don't know. I have the phone number, but I'm calling the police, and I'm going to let the police get to them. I've been asking Verizon to help me for the past year, for the past year, and they won't. What kind of threat was it? How do I know you're Verizon? How do you know I'm not the hacker that hacked your computer? Right. I didn't threaten you, lady. I didn't threaten you at all. You're you're making up lies. You, You can't lie to the police like that. It's illegal to lie to the police. Right. So then when I call them and they come, then let them come and ask, ask you questions. Good. Do it. All right. And what threat did I make? What kind of threat did I make? 